Hey everyone, Technometer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix eSIM not working on your iPhone. So let's get started. Now keep in mind, eSIM is only compatible for iPhone XS or XR or newer devices. Anything older than that does not have eSIM and your carrier also has to support it. Now, once you have that noted, first thing you're going to do is pull down the control menu from the top here. Put your phone on airplane mode briefly, just like that and then turn that off. And that is a quick refresh of the network as you can see here, and it should go ahead and fix as simple as that. Now, if that didn't work for you, the next thing you wanna do is go into your setting and then go into the cellular. Now, once in your cellular, all you're gonna do is where it says turn this line, you're gonna turn that off and then back on it. That's gonna go ahead and refresh your uh, cellular SIM as well, and eSIM should work if you have a eSIM that was set up before. Now moving on to the next thing that you want to do if it's still not working on your phone is you're going to see if there's a cellular update. So to check that you're going to go into your setting and then go to general and then go to the about page. Now if a cellular update is available a message will pop up that says update cellular and you're going to click on update. You're going to wait about 10-15 seconds on this page. Now if it doesn't pop up don't worry there's no cellular update so you can move on to the next troubleshooting step which is going to be following these steps here. You're going to quickly press and release the volume up and then quickly press and release the volume down and then hold on to this side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'll do volume up, volume down and then I hold on to the side button just like that and we're going to wait for the phone to completely shut down before we let go of that side button once we see the Apple logo. So as you can see here, I'm still pressing and holding on to that side button. And so to see the Apple logo, I let go of it. And that's forcing the phone software to shut down and reload the code. So if it's a software-related issue impacting in the eSIM not working, it's going to go ahead and fix that for us. So we're going to wait here for it to finish. And this method is safe. It will not delete any of your data. So let's go back into our phone. And let's say you did this and it's still not working. The next thing to do is go into your settings and then go to General and then scroll down where it says transfer reset iPhone. We're going to tap on that. And then from here on, we're going to click on reset, the first option. And then we're going to want to do a network reset. And then we're going to put our phone passcode here. And basically a network reset will reset all of the network related setting to factory default. Again, it will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be there. It will delete, however, Wi-Fi connections and any of course, network configuration, but it's important to do if the eSIM is still not working. Now, if you did this and it's still having the issue, the next thing to do is make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi because you'll need to update the phone software. So the, from the main settings here, you're going to go to general and then software update. And if there's an update, you're going to want to go ahead and do the update to get to the latest version to ensure that it's not a software issue with the phone. And then the last thing you want to do if none of this are working is you're going to try to delete the current eSIM and then get it reinstalled again. So usually you do this by going to your settings and then you're going to go to general again. And once you go to the general section, you see there's a delete option. You're going to delete and then add the eSIM again. The eSIM can be added with a QR code from your carrier or if you have another device with the QR code that you can scan, you'll scan it or tap on the configuration that email that will be sent from your carrier and you can get the eSIM card added and that should help you fix it. And if any issue, you should contact your carrier to see if they can do any troubleshooting for you. But that should go ahead and fix your eSIM on your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.